Hey, welcome back and thanks for watching. We've had some requests come in lately with people wondering how to put a photo on their display. A lot of people putting senior class photos on their Doctronics display. So I'm gonna try to talk through today how you would go about doing that and kind of some best practices when you're using photos like that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it here. Um, I'm actually gonna recommend another photo editor on your computer to do some cropping and resizing of the photo before you bring it in to Venus Control Suite. One that we use often and that we recommend is called Pixlr. It's probably the most popular free online image editor. If you just go to pixlr.com, you can uh, find it and use it for free. So today, my fellow software trainers volunteered their senior class photos to use as examples here. So let's start with Faith. If I just drag and drop this file onto my screen here, that brings it right into Pixlr. Over on the left here, I'm looking for my little crop icon. And I like Pixlr because it's just easy to use. And what I'm gonna say with these photos is you want to get as much of the face as possible and crop out the rest of your image because adding all those other details in your image trying to put them on your display um, can be problematic and you know you really don't need to see the leaves in the background of your photos you're just trying to get that person's face to show up on your display so I'm gonna crop there and I'm also going to I think when I click Save here yep this is going to give me an option to pick my file type. I'm just going to choose PNG. That's our recommended file type. And for image width, I'm going to put two. Oh no, for image height, I'm going to put 140. Let's see if I can remember what I'm doing here. Because that is the height of my display. So look up your display pixel dimensions. I'll show you here in a second where you could find that and put in this image height area the height of your display in pixels that's going to resize it after you've cropped it then i'm going to click download right here and i'm just going to save this on my death desktop and we'll just call it faith's picture cropped we'll save it there come down here and go to show in folder so that'll pop up on my screen. So that's saved on my computer. I'm now going to just click and drag and drop that onto my screen to upload that to Venus Control Suite. And you can see I've been doing some experimenting in here. Now once you get this uploaded, you're just gonna do what you normally do. Click the little drop down arrow up here, go to New Web Presentation. And we'll see if I can spell and type today. So this is where your display size is listed. This is one of the places you can find your display size. The display I'm going to create this for is 250 by 140. So that's 250 pixels wide by 140 pixels tall. So when you're bringing in photos, keep that size in mind. It's listed over here as well. And try to get your photos close to that size so that they look a little bit less blurry. Um, I'm gonna bring in that photo by coming up here and clicking add new media. Over here on the right, I'm gonna click the little plus icon under source. And there's my photo. I'm just putting a checkbox next to that and clicking set. And then you can see it, it matches the height of my display. Now I could come over here and go to stretch and do stretch to fill. Uh, if it didn't match but then you know that starts to look blurry and stretchy and not good so now that you've resized that already it should match the height of your display um and from here you can just decide what you want to do if you want to add in a text box you can come up here to add text box you could say class of 2020 pick a fun font I'm actually gonna come down here and change my line spacing 
so it tightens that up a little bit. And you could just leave it at that white text with a black background. You could also change your background color so it matches your school colors if you wanted to do it that way. On your text, as always, I do recommend having a two or three pixel black outline if you can to help it stand out from the background. The other thing you could do is if I click add new media up here again and click the plus over here, you could add in a whole nother background image. So that brought that image over the top of my other elements. But if I come over here to the right under elements and drag this down to the bottom, then I've got my picture, I've got my class of 2020, and I've got my background image. And that was just an image, a background image that I already had in my media library. So that would be an option for you as well. You're going to see a little bit of pixelation when you're zoomed in like this, especially if your display is a little bit smaller in size. You're probably thinking, oh man, that picture doesn't look very good. Zoom that out to 100%. So you can see how that looks from a distance. That looks pretty good. Um, cropping that image was huge in that process so that we don't have just a small face with a lot of stuff around to look at that you're not really you know getting a lot out of crop that down as close to the face as you can not too close obviously you don't want just the little uh, profile but um cropping that down is really going to help enlarge that image so that it shows up better on your display please crop that okay so that's one image i think i'm going to keep going here we're going to click save and we're going to do that a couple more times just for fun. I mean, you guys have time, right? Um, let's bring in Alicia here as well. So again, I'm just dragging and dropping. I'm going to click create new. I don't even know what it's asking me here, but I'm just going to click through it. Oh, Alicia, what are you doing to me? Why did your photo go sideways? Now I got to figure out how to rotate this. Um, now, Alicia's photo came in sideways. I don't know why. I'm going to blame Alicia for it. But um, if that happens, there's a little icon right here called Properties. And you simply click this little arrow to the left to rotate it. And from there, I can go over here to Crop. And we're going to do the same thing. And if you are doing senior photos on your display, you might have to do this a bunch of times. So, you know, that'll kill some time for you in quarantine. That's okay. Put some music on. Do some uh, photo cropping relaxation for the day. All right, I'm going to pick PNG. And my height's going to be 140 again. And I'm downloading and I'm saving. And here we go. We're going to go back to Venus. And again, I'm just dragging and dropping this onto my screen. While I'm doing this stuff that you've already seen me do, I want to mention that I'm okay. I know my voice sounds hoarse, but I've just got some nasty allergies I'm dealing with, which is annoying, but not a big deal. Uh, but I had some people asking about it, so I thought I'd mention it here, just so you guys aren't worried about my my health. Um, so we've got Alicia's pick in here. If you click on the image in the media library, little shortcut for you if you go over here to the right and go to New Web Presentation, that will bring that image in automatically. So it just shows up there. Again, move that over to the left. Um, if you want to create a template, I'm going to back up here, actually. Let's save that one. Another way that you could approach this is from your first image that you created. So here's my faith one. I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to go up here to edit. And I'm actually going to do 
I'll save as. So if I click this little arrow right here, I'm going to go to save as. And since you're going to be doing this a bunch of times, this is going to save you a bunch of steps. So by doing a save as, I'm creating a whole new file. I'm going to delete Faith out of there. Sorry, Faith. Bye-bye. And I'm going to add in Alicia. And there you go. I didn't have to adjust all that. Now, here's what we're running into. This photo ended up being a little bit wider than my other photo. So you've got some choices here. You can scooch this over. We can cut off Alicia's hair a little bit. You could leave it here. And you could just resize your text a little bit down here a little bit. Or you can do a little bit of both. So just make that call once you bring in the image. And as always, you can zoom that out to see how that's going to look on your display. And another thing I did on one of these was we've got this line between our background and our photo. If you ever just want to add kind of a border, one little trick you can do is just to add in a text box, leave it empty, and put it where you like. And then just, what am I doing here? Under content, go to background color and change that to black or whatever color you want. And you can kind of just make a line or like a border between a couple of items. If you think that looks better, I think that looks pretty good. Then that can uh, jazz that up a little bit. Click save on that one. Um, and go back to your media library. And now you've got another one created. And that original one with Faith was preserved there, I guess, for lack of a better term, because I did that save as. Now, I don't want to leave out Andrew here, so I'm going to drag in Andrew to Pixlr, and we're going to do some cropping on him as well. His senior photo, very classy here with the guitar, super cool dude as a senior, I can tell, just like me. <laughs> um, but we're going to crop this down as well. This one's a little bit different. Um, we're gonna crop it there and save and click PNG. And we're gonna type in our pixel height again and click download. And we're gonna save that one. So once you start doing this a few times, you're gonna get faster and better at this. So that's good. This will be some good good practice for you if you do have to go through this. Um, so I've got my picture in there. I'm going to do the same thing I did. I click on this one that I just made. I'm going to go to edit up here in the top right. I'm going to do save as right away so that I don't forget to do that. Andrew, we're going to put your name in there as the file name. So now I've got a new file that I'm creating going to get rid of Alicia. Bye-bye, Alicia. And we're going to bring in Andrew. And he fits pretty nicely over there. Make sure we don't have any extra blue area. So for his photo, this black border isn't really doing much for me. Uh, maybe I could change it to white. I don't know. Do what looks good to you. That's what I always recommend. Eh, white doesn't look terrible either. There's a little separation there. Zoom that out. Now we've just got Andrew staring off into the distance there, looking real good <laughs> as a senior. I put class of 2020 on here for everybody. They didn't want me to reveal their real their real uh, graduation years. <laughs> Don't want to give away their age. I'm going to click save on that one, and I am going back to my media library, and those are ready to go. Put them, you know, go ahead and go to playlists over here on the left, add those in to your display, 
wish those seniors the best. Um, not fun for them. They don't get a, a, a traditional graduation, but you know, put their photo on them at the display and that's that's something for them at least. We're at about 15 minutes here, so one of my longer videos. Thanks for, uh, for, for sticking with me if you made it all the way this far. Um, we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.